Hi there, South Africa. This is the Daily News Wrap from the SouthAfrican.com. It's Thursday, 6th May 2021. My name is Lisa Grayson. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com. In our top story, the scientific community is almost anonymously certain that a third wave of COVID-19 is coming to South Africa in some form this winter. The threat of new variants and cold weather driving the virus could prove to be a lethal cocktail, and whenever coronavirus numbers rise, lockdown restrictions will get tougher. South Africa has only vaccinated 300,000 healthcare workers, along with Cyril Ramaphosa, David Mabuza, and a number of other political leaders. Although immunization numbers are expected to shoot out in May, not enough people have developed immunity against the virus to negate the arrival of a third wave. Meanwhile, the winter storm that made landfall in the Southern Cape on Wednesday has caused severe flooding in Cape Agalhas and the surrounding areas. This was said by the Western Cape government. Minister of Local Government, Environmental Affairs and Development Planning, Anton Bredel, said people are being evacuated from homes in the area that has been affected by the flash floods and rescue teams are on dispatch. Bredel added that the Cape Town Agalhas Municipality Joint Operations Center has been activated for all disaster management matters. In other news, a day many suspected would not come has actually arrived on Wednesday and the ANC has stuck to its guns on the step-aside rule. Ace Magashule has been suspended and although he remains on full pay, he is now severely limited to what he can or cannot do. In total, six major restrictions have been placed on the 61-year-old. Ace Magashule is banned from carrying out any duties in his role as ANC Secretary-General. He is not allowed to represent the ANC publicly. Magashule cannot make pronouncements on behalf of the ANC. He has no authority to speak for the party. ACE is also banned from mobilizing or organizing any other party structure to protest his suspension. He cannot go longer than a month without informing the party how his criminal case is progressing. And finally, he is limited from appealing the ANC's decision unless the party agrees to hear his case. In your sports, Kaza Chiefs fans have reached boiling points and are scheduling a planned protest at Naturana to voice their concerns regarding the way the club is being run. Chiefs are going through arguably one of the worst spells of the clubs in 50-year history after having gone five years without a title. Their current state is almost pitiable, with Gavin Hunt's side sitting just over the relegation zone with just four games to go in the DSTV Premiership. Meanwhile, Bafana Bafana will be led by a three-man technical team after the South African Football Association confirmed that Hugo Bruce will have two assistants. During the announcement of Bruce as the new Bafana Bafana coach, Safa CEO Tebogo Motlante said a local coach will be appointed to assist the Belgian mentor. He further revealed that Bruce will also come with his assistant. In your weather today, Blomfontein is a fine 23 degrees, Cape Town is a possible rainy 17, Pretoria comes at a fine 23 and Johannesburg is 21 degrees. That's all you really need to know from the South African. Subscribe to more of this audio bulletin straight to your mobile device. And for more of these and other stories, please visit thesouthafrican.com. This podcast is kindly sponsored by Bluegrass Digital. Bluegrass Digital, a leader in building digital solutions for your business in Africa. Find out more at bluegrassdigital.com.